God's telling you lies. But like I said before, Satan comes to steal, kill and destroy. God called, Jesus came to save. Jesus died on the cross. The victory against Satan won when he took his last breath. He won even more. The victory came with a round of applause when Jesus came back again on the third day. We came back on the third day. We was res resurrected on the third day with Christ. We came back alive and kicking and following God through Jesus Christ who died on the cross. <coughs> Finally, Jesus is our saviour. Everything he has done for us and still doing for us came from God because God commanded it. Jesus obeyed it. Jesus showed us. Jesus healed us through God because he showed Jesus how to heal people. Everything Jesus did came from God because he was his son who loved his father and obeyed. And Jesus' last command was, do what I did. Go out, disciples, cast out demons, lay on sick, lay hands on uh, and heal. Love one another, love your neighbours. These are all Jesus' last commands that we should do. All these is what God did from the beginning. This is what God wanted. Turning people against each other is Satan's best firing line. But with Christ, he will show us how to love one another. That we can show people that they also can be alive and fighting for the good. Fighting for what's right. Fighting for what's morally right in God. That it's all through God's law that we should stand. Not human law, it's God's law. And this came from Jesus. There is, like I said, there is no difference between the Jews and Gentiles. This has got to be important. We are no different to anybody else out there. We are all the same. It's just those that are not awake yet to Jesus. But he's constantly trying to talk to every single one. Because after all, there's only one flock on one genuine shepherd, and that is Jesus. So again, there is no difference to anybody. No difference between all <coughs> gays, lesbians, transgenders, black, white, pink, old and young, British, Welsh, Afghanistan, Iran, Iranian. There is no difference. We are all the same in Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter who we are or what we are. We are all the same in Jesus Christ. Christ is in us and we are in him. We are alive thanks to Jesus Christ. Thank you. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Sally? Yes, sir. Do you do so every week?